Uh, let's bring in Mike Huckabee, of course, the former governor of the great state of Arkansas. Uh, we know how you feel about Trump, uh, Governor, but what do you think about Vivek as vice president? I think he's a terrific choice. I'm really impressed with him. He's the most articulate person from either party. He's able to uh, deal with any issue that's tossed at him and do it intelligently, thoughtfully, and compassionately. Uh, he's the whole package in so many ways. And, you know, there are a lot of uh, things we're yet to uncover and know about Vivek, but I like him. I think he's uh, a bright spot, and he's running a brilliant campaign. He's not going after Donald Trump. He's actually standing with Trump on all these legal uh, issues, which I think is an incredibly smart play. So he's not alienating the Trump base, but at the same time, he's uh, demonstrating a level of independence and a, a stroke of genius, in my view. Let's get to the head-to-head -head matchup. Trump is leading in the, among the Republicans, got that. But he trails Biden in this head-to-head -head matchup just by three points. OK, he trails by three points. Are you concerned about that? Not really, because right now every bit of news coming out of the mainstream media says Donald Trump is indicted 91 times. And we're not hearing virtually anything about Joe Biden's influence peddling and the 20 million plus dollars that he's gotten from or that his family's gotten from foreign governments and just how much he's entangled. We know that he's lied about it repeatedly when he said he had no idea anything about his son. We know that's not true. He's had dinners. He's been photographed at those dinners. Uh, I don't think they just talked about the weather. So uh, the, right now, the American public hears every day negative stories of Donald Trump. They don't hear any of those negative stories about Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. And I'm amazed, quite frankly, that it's as close as it is, mm -hmm. uh, given that kind of uh, unbalanced coverage. Uh, do you think uh, Trump will be tempted to get into the debate next week? I, I really can't see him sitting on the sidelines. Surely he'll be tempted to jump in. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I don't know. There's really no, um, I, I guess, reason that he would go, because it's not sure. like he has to go and uh, tell everybody who he is. Everybody knows who he is. I think if he shows up on the debate stage, he becomes the target. And then you've got guys who are not even polling well, who will be taking cheap shots at him all night long. So I'm not sure what advantage there is other than just to say that he went. But, you know, he can stage his own rally that night yes. and probably have more eyeballs tuned to him. Who knows? Who, who knows indeed. Governor, great to have you on the show this morning. Thanks for being here. See you soon, I hope. Thank you. You bet.